Good afternoon, my name is Jimmy Tager with the National Weather Service in San Diego, here to go over significant precipitation expected February 13th to 14th from an atmospheric river storm heading towards Southern California. Here's a quick glance at the water vapor satellite from this morning, Tuesday morning. You can easily see there's a big plume of moisture moving towards Southwest California from over the Pacific Ocean. And then we have a low pressure system to our north that over the next couple days is going to be moving towards the San Diego area. These two combined are going to create some heavy precip precipitation come Thursday with light precipitation starting tomorrow, that's Wednesday morning. As far as how much we're going to get, it looks like we're going to get a lot of rain. Snow levels are going to be pretty high. They're going to be mostly 9,000 to 10,000 feet. So here you can see most of the precipitation that's going to fall is going to actually fall as rain and also help to melt a little bit of the snow that's already up in the mountains. Coastal mountain slopes could see anywhere from 6 to 8 to 10 inches. A lot of rain come Wednesday into Thursday night. Coastal areas could also see one and a half inches to two inches of rain, while the valleys could see two to three inches of rain. Deserts are going to see lesser amounts, mostly less than an inch of rain, from Wednesday morning through Thursday night. With all this rain, flash flooding is going to be concerned, especially Thursday across our area. Rainfall rates of half an inch to three quarters of an inch an hour are possible across the region, with rates to one inch an hour possible along the coastal mountain slopes. This is going to help create some debris flow and mudslides near recent burn scars, especially the Holy and Cranston burn scar areas. There is going to be some limited river, flood, river flooding, with driving impacts expected in Fashion Valley in San Diego. Significant flow is also expected in the Whitewater River and Coachella Stormwater Channel. In case you're wondering where you can find information on the rivers across southern, southwestern California, you can click on the website here off our main webpage, and here you can check out where we have all the different sites and you can see if no flooding is expected with green colors or if some areas could near flood stage, for example, the two sites we're going to look at next. On your top left is the Santa Margarita River, and that's going to be just north of Camp Pendleton on the east side of the I-5. and that could get up to 10.8 feet by Thursday afternoon. That's just under minor flood stage. While the San Diego River at Fashion Valley could get also get right below minor flood stage at 11.2 feet at 6 p.m. Thursday. These amounts could go up, so be sure to stay tuned for more information. It's going to be windy also Thursday through early Friday. West to southwest winds are really going to be gusting over those mountains and into adjacent desert areas where we could see areas gusting 70 to 80 miles per hour. Coastal locations will see a little bit less, mainly 25 to 30 miles per hour. In summary, rain's going to begin Wednesday morning and continue through Thursday night, with heaviest showers Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. Snow levels are going to be pretty high, mainly above 9 to 10,000 feet Wednesday through late Thursday, but then lower to around 6,000 feet early Friday morning. Any lingering showers that are around Friday morning could have a little bit of snowfall in the higher elevations of the mountains. River flooding will be a threat mainly for the Santa Margarita and San Diego rivers, with significant flow expected in the Whitewater River and Coachella Stormwater Channel. Gusty west to southwest winds are possible over the mountains into adjacent deserts Thursday into Thursday night. And as the weather system leaves on Friday, an active pattern actually is going to stick around. Light precipitation is going to be possible through Sunday, then moderate precipitation is going to be possible Sunday night through early Monday. Thanks for tuning in. For the latest up-to-date forecast, watches, warnings, and advisories, visit weather.gov slash San Diego and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Have a good one.